you know, to be to be rejected in that way, and and it, it actually brings about all sorts of de- defensive um, uh, defensive responses. But as far as the agenda is concerned, um, well, actually, the agenda for these meetings is has become much more generic. I, I think if you if you go back to the fifties and sixties, it was probably stuff that was making its way onto the agenda that mainstream commentators and uh, national governments, in some instances, probably did not know about. Or, you know, you, if you looked at the agendas, you might might have found some quite interesting stuff. Today, the agendas are pretty topical. Um, they they tend to be a, ahead of the curve, um, somewhat. I mean, one of the accusations that was often leveled at the Bilderberg Group was that whatever was discussed in the Bilderberg Group, Bilderberg Group would find its way in two or three years' time into being sort of mainstream narrative, if you like. And I think there's still some some support for that, by the way. I mean, I don't think that happens all the time. But clearly, with the representation of, of certain media um, businesses, um, what's discussed at these events uh, can very quickly find its way into the mainstream and, in a sense, influence mainstream consensual thinking. So, um, yeah, there is, it is difficult to know where the influence begins and ends. There is influence. There is undoubtedly an influence. I mean, we, it would be insane to suggest otherwise, I think. But I, I do think that the group and many members of the group, um, certainly members of the steering committee, are absolutely puzzled, uh, you know, beyond belief at the hysteria that surrounds what they do. I mean, they really cannot understand. I mean, they take a certain, in some instances, they take a quite, quite a sort of, um, you know, pleasure i suppose in 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 knowing that this is creating a a certain type of response not all bilderbergers feel like that but some do um and it's clear that that um, but nevertheless for all of that they, i don't think they really understand what the problem is because they can't see it uh, they're actually incapable of seeing it and, and and the steering committee members of the steering committee or i suppose you might just describe them as actualized members of the of the network they are people that that stuck so after two or three or four visits four being probably the critical point you would probably be invited to to assume one of the two country steering uh, steering committee positions within Bilderberg and part, part of the reason for that is that you know some people retire some people have had and some people just don't want to be doing the steering committee stuff anymore so it's it's slightly Oh, it's not administrative, of course, because we're not going to get people like this doing a lot of admin, but um, it is an administrative function. And one of the functions that, that is critical is, is, okay, the agenda is, is, is important, of course, um, but perhaps more important from, from, a, from the perspective of understanding eventual consensus is that it's the steering committee members who decide uh, who stays and who goes and who comes. And um, so they are responsible for selecting and inviting um, new entrants from their country. And this puts them in a very um, interesting position. And uh, you see certain, from certain countries a particular flavor emerging over time. So, um, you know, I find it quite curious, for instance, uh, if you look at the U.S., um, just recently, we've seen um, we've seen more sort of representation from the uh, the equities, you know, the financial markets, if you like. In other countries, we've seen you know we've seen representatives preferring certain types of of, of, of people, industrialists. Uh, and I think what's curious about it, if you consider the competition for entrants, is just how significant these these steering committee people can be. Because uh, it's it's not called a network for for no reason. It's it's a personal network, and you get invited. Not I mean they they will argue time and again that it's all about merit, but there's no process in place. I mean the only process that exists is that the steering committee members identify people that they think would be interesting to invite to the to the uh, conference. But they rarely invite complete strangers. I mean, they're not complete idiots in this regard. They, you know, they want to understand that who they invite is going to put up a good show, is going to sort of be the right sort. You know, that is going to is going to sort of, uh, I suppose, in a sense, uh, reflect glowingly on them. So, um, you know, this this role is extremely curious. And as I said, I know I know it seems a little strange to be emphasising these personal 
um, you, you call them social psychological and or anthropological, I suppose, issues, but they are incredibly important. Um, and I think, as I said, people that I've spoken to just cannot believe that members of this elite group are acutely aware of things like status. But they are. I mean, it doesn't change just because you're up there, you know. It's, um, it's probably even more acute. <laughs> Definitely. I mean, the, the steering committee has the, the keys for the party and everyone wants to be the kid that goes to the party. And obviously, even at this level, it's the prestige is such such an issue. Obviously, you'd be like, do you know where I was last week? I was at the Bilderberg group. Like, you can imagine at that level that it, it, it works even for people that are beyond average um, levels of success, obviously, as most of these people are. Do you know who's... Uh basically been there more than four or five times do you know who's has who's not been asked to come back i mean that that information's um for the most part public domain i mean bilderberg produces a, an attendance list um i mean it's funny because in, if you look online it looks like a great secret and of course they don't publish it before the they usually don't publish it much before the event um, starts. It's usually released at some point during or after the event um, and finds its way into public circulation. But uh, And people read a lot into that. But actually, if you look at those attendance lists, you can see almost immediately, and I've, I've actually um, uh, compiled a, 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 a chart with uh, the last 20 years or so of attendance, and it's almost immediately apparent who who's at the core of the network and you know who isn't. Um, the, as I said, the curious aspect is this idea that you, you're a Bilderberger because you went once. Um, and I see that. I mean, one, one interesting one was um, Dominic uh, Strauss-Kahn, uh, who obviously rose to very, very high prominence um, with the IMF. But he, he actually only went once to Bilderberg. And, um, you know, clearly, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what happened there. But... He's not, the, he's not the sort of person that demonstrated an aversion to this type of activity. So I can only assume that he, well, I mean, I don't want to cast aspersions, but I mean, maybe he was invited back, who knows? But he only went once. But I find that very in, sort of intriguing in, in, in some senses. So it's not, it's not simply a function of, of power that you get, you know, accepted and rejected or, or, or that kind of stuff. I mean, they haven't even formally announced, as far as I'm aware, that, that the conference is going to be held at the end of the month. Um, I mean, obviously, we've seen in, in chat rooms and, and on conspiracy pages that there's huge speculation that it's going to be in Virginia. I, I wouldn't be surprised if it is, and, and the timing probably about right. Um, and it's almost certainly going to be in the United States as well because of the presidential year. So. Um, I, I don't quite understand. I mean, I, I, apart from the desire, I suppose, of some within the community to to create some kind of uh, global, you know, some kind of occupy resistance to that. Um, I, I don't quite understand the 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 the, 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 the amazing amount of of chat that that's created. Um, it, it, it will come out. We'll know when the date is, and there will be a crowd of people outside the gates. Uh, making their voices known, and there will be the usual accompaniment of world media following the conspiracy theory community, basically highlighting the uh, the idiosyncrasies of the of the conspiracy theory community, rather, I have to say, than focusing on the event itself. So, um, I've approached the group for lists, back lists, and I haven't got them. I have approached them in the year of the conference for a list, and I have received it. I think if you approach them give them a fax number, um, they'll fax it over to you, uh, usually after the event. Um, it's a very small administration unit, um, and, and I don't know whether this part of this is, is a function of the fact that it's, it's rather sleepy, um, but if you look at their website, I mean, it really doesn't change from year to year. I mean, they put this website up as, I, I suppose, a, an attempt to allay some of the fears about transparency that people have. Um, but actually, it probably raises more questions than, 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 than there were before. Um, it certainly plays directly into the hands of many within the, within the conspiracy community because it doesn't really say anything. And it certainly doesn't say anything about what's coming up. Um, I mean, I suppose if, 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 you're, if you're to look forward, you could probably guess who most of the participants are going to be this year. You don't need to be a genius to figure that out. And if you're interested in knowing what's been discussed at the conference, just read The Economist in the week or two afterwards, because The Economist has a long 
relationship, a long-standing relationship.